Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. All right, you guys, here comes Mikey. It's completely dark. I'm pointing at the sun. Huh? Said I bought a bed. You bought a, bought a bed. This is our bed. <laughs> no, this is our guest room bed, actually. So we decided last night that that bed on the floor just looked too batch, not bachelor pad, frat house. Not open house friendly. <laughs> not exact. I texted pictures to our realtor and I was like, look, this is what we did. We had to get rid of this bed. We moved things around. And she said either get a cheap bed frame, metal frame like this one, and you know put it on that, or just have the room be empty. And we were like, well, we wouldn't have a place to put our mattress, and like, I don't know. So we just decided to go ahead and get this frame. And we had also come to the conclusion that once we moved to Michigan, we might have a hard time finding like a bed frame, and we don't want the mattress to just be like, Flopped in on the ground. I uh, have a hard time finding it. Why? Why? Yeah. Because right now, it seems like getting furniture is impossible. Mm -hmm. They don't have it in stock. People aren't building it right now. So I know the couch we like has been out of stock. Yeah, we found a couch that we liked at Ashley Furniture. And the lady's like, just so you know, like a lot of the furniture people are trying to order and you just can't get it. It's out of stock. And if you want it, you got to try to order it now and then you might not get it still. And it's just crazy. And then so, I there's an office furniture shortage. Because so, everybody's working from yes, home and, and, and homeschooling and all of that. So yeah, when we do move, we're not probably going to be able to buy furniture anytime soon until life gets back to normal-ish. Yeah, so it's just hard to know. I mean, obviously we can live without certain things. We'll be just fine and we'll whatever, but it's just the inconvenience and just rather have it. So anyway, for open house this weekend, we're like, we got to go get a frame. So Michael just went, he mowed the grass while I cleaned the house. Got a frame. Got a frame. Now we got I gotta cook dinner. And put the frame and the bed together. Are you gonna do that tomorrow? Uh, I might do that tomorrow. <laughs> I got nothing to do tomorrow. Oh my gosh. So like we decided last week we better have the house ready in case somebody because typically people want to come see the house on Saturday. You know, they don't have to work or they don't have school or they don't have other things going on. So almost every Saturday we've had a showing and sometimes it's last minute. Like last week it was like 7:30 at night and we got a text for a showing the next day. So we just decided the house needs to be clean, the yard needs to be cut, and all of that on Fridays. So I just cleaned the whole house except for a few things. And Michael did all that lawn stuff and then the bed frame and now dinner. Yes. <laughs> we are doing some baking today. What are you making? Corn muffins. Corn muffins, so cornbread and muffin tin. And then we're gonna make what? Remember? What are we gonna bake after this? <laughs> chocolate chip cookies so michael had found the recipe that's supposed to be really good so we're gonna give it a try i'm so excited you think that's pretty good that looks pretty good all right so now we're trying this chocolate chip cookie recipe this is a recipe you've never tried before that daddy found dump the whole bag in the, oh. yeah <laughs> Woo! oh man they're gonna be super chocolatey, aren't they? Is there more in there? I think you got them all. <laughs> there's, there's still some left. Oh, oh, one little scraggler. Lots of yumminess going on today. Daddy made our favorite chicken. I think it's our favorite. I would say so. Chelsea, he made her separate little chicken pieces because she's not too crazy about all of this. Um, green beans. I made the cornbread. Uh oh. I cooked, I did it exactly the same as last, oh, that's so frustrating. First, last time they came right out. Last time they came right out, so I did them, they were perfect, so I did them exactly the same, nope. except for I did cook them in the bottom oven and not the top oven. No, Don't know if that would make any difference. It's a sticking thing, it's, they're it's, sticking. But I spray, I did everything the same, spray and everything. And then our cookie dough, after we're done eating dinner, I'm gonna bake that up. Pretty excited about dinner tonight and dessert. You are so cute. I heard snoring and I couldn't see him. I could hear him, but I couldn't tell where he was. 
because I was over here. <laughs> I could hear you, but I couldn't see you, my puppy. Look at the smush face. That's so cute. All right, you guys, are ready to go in the oven. This girl's recipe said it made 18 cookies. Uh, there's a dozen and there's a dozen. I'm not sure if they're gonna spread, but um, <laughs> I still have all that left. So I'm guessing she made hers bigger, even though I'm following her directions exactly. So we'll see what happens. I'm afraid they're gonna spread, but what you're supposed to do is cook them at a high heat, 475, which is really high for cookies and only for a few minutes. So like six to seven minutes and then pull them out as soon as they start to get golden brown on the top and then they'll continue to cook like as they cool, if that makes sense. So I'm doing exactly her recipe and hopefully they'll turn out good. The dough tastes amazing. <laughs> I took a few nibbles of it, it is so good. All right guys, not too sure how I feel about this because you're doing the high heat for a short amount of time. So it's like a rapid cook and you're supposed to cook them till they're just golden brown. I did six minutes, although I thought about taking them out earlier and as they cool, they're gonna kind of cook. Like they look kind of overcooked, but I don't think they are. All right, time for the taste test. I already had one. My theory, I've, I've been baking for a long time, you guys, and cook, baking on a high temperature for a short amount of time just never works, right? Still kind of they're, li liquidy inside. They're, so they started to get to the point to where they were almost too brown on the outside, so you don't want to burn them. But then well, the inside is what? To be fair, I think that's what the recipe is. It's supposed to be gooey. Yeah, I watched they're her gooey. little I watched her little video clip and they do not look the same. I will say this, it's a good dough. The dough tastes good. The cookie tastes good. Baked. Do you like it? Tastes good. Yeah. I'm wondering if you'd leave them sit there. They're gonna the heat's still gonna Cook yeah, themselves. they do, and that's what happened with these. These are these have been sitting, and that's what you just had. But like, it wasn't yeah. done, done in the middle. All right, Michael just took one on the same tray. He said it was a little bit better, but little still doughy. Cooked, but still doughy. Yeah. yeah, and see, if I would have cooked it any more, they would have burned because of that high temperature. So what I did is I dropped the temperature down to 350, and I'm gonna cook them for a little bit longer, but at the 350, because I think that's what needs to be done. Right? I like cookie dough. And, well, I do. You get the cookie, plus you get the cookie dough. Yeah, but you don't like it that way, do you? I normally smash mine. Yeah. What happens? Hmm. You just pull try, these out. Yeah, right? try smashing some of them. These are a little bit more solid. Oh, those are? Well, felt it. It might have a difference with the par without parchment. Yeah, like, Okay, so overall they taste good. They're a good well, cookie. It was a good dough, it was a good dough, but I don't like the the instructions for how you cook it. Oh that one's a little bit more cooked. I bet it's the parchment paper messed you up. Oh this these copper pans really distribute the heat well. Yeah. You're probably not getting the heat through here. And she said to use the paper so they don't stick, but nothing really sticks yeah, to the copper. Yeah. All right, well I have some more to do. I guess I'll move them off of the mm -hmm. Onto the copper. More cooked. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> what you doing? Cookies. She's oh. not in the, if she was in the cookies, I would have already yelled at her. She is, I went to clean out the pan from the cornbread. I put them in the bowl for tomorrow and she's looking out. I've just been like patiently waiting for like five, 10 minutes for her to finish eating the crumbs so I can wash it. You got to get every last crumb, huh? You Mom, give an update on the last batch of cookies. You give your update because you're so, the okay. picky one. So it... the last batch, we used our copper sheet, no parchment paper. Six minutes on Six minutes. 475. And what happened was when you took it out of the oven, they still cooked. So this last batch was really soft inside, but it was cooked through. So the first batch was gooey that you cooked on parchment paper. Which you preferred? The gooey, right? Uh, meh. Yeah. I like them all. Okay. The second <laughs> like, batch, how many did you eat? <laughs> yeah, the second batch, what did you do? You cooked it on just the copper. Just the but, copper, but I did it for seven minutes instead of six. And it got a little dark, and the bottoms got a little dark. Yeah. Where the yeah. last batch, and I, I've sampled 
quite a bit of them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to say how many you've eaten. Let's count. Uh oh. <laughs> Last batch turned out they they cooked. So once you took them out of the oven, you only cooked them for six minutes. They cooked through. You so what? Uh, yeah. It was super soft, but cooked on the inside, and the outside had a nice crunch to it. So, so it's like the a, third ones on it's the a copper. And a soft baked cookie in one. So what? My mistake that I made with the second batch was that I put them in for another minute longer because when I went to take them out and they were on the copper sheet, they didn't look even done enough to take them out even though they continue to cook so i left them in there for another minute and it was it was too much i should have just taken them out and trusted the the i'll link the recipe minutes. i mean are they the best ones i've ever had no, no. but they're not bad I mean, oh i'm pretty happy with them i do want to mention too we use the mini chocolate chips and in the oh, recipe yeah. she used the big chocolate chips so I think that could it would make possibly... it more chocolatey. I mean, you can see. I mean, I mean you if you want to see, yeah, all the little itty bits. But it, you... what it would do, it would make it more chunkier uh, chocolate, like, like bigger chocolate, chocolate like Some of that might those... have a little bit. But I think not much. so. I think that would have made a difference because then when you bite into the cookie, you get like a mouthful of chocolate, the melted chocolate. Oh. So, and if you want to get scientific, there probably is some sort of science behind you know, the small morsels versus the larger morsels. It, that's not what the recipe called for. It's because I was doing, gonna do a different recipe using those and I couldn't find some stuff I needed for recipe, so. Yeah, it was, all in all, and it we'll was a pretty good recipe. Way, way in the future. Okay. <laughs> with the normal chocolate chip. Last you said you had like six or eight. I, You've had more? Okay, they are small. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. They're, they're stuff, small, but, but they're thick. They are. Uh, <laughs> I had to sample each batch like, uh -huh. a couple times. A couple times to make make darn sure. Yeah. <laughs>